I'm Brooke. I'm Hunter. And we are the owners of Jack the Sleeper. Jack is three years old. He was rescued in 2021. Uh, he is a Husky German Shepherd Pitbull Malamute mix. So he is quite, quite the gentleman. I don't even know where to start on his Instagram. So my niece, who's quite younger than me, she has a dog Instagram. And so I thought it would be a fun way for us to try to connect with her a little bit. And I think the second week that we had our Instagram going, we posted a video of Jack eating spaghetti. It was just a noodle, but we got 14,000 views on it, and then the next was history. And at the time, we thought 14,000 was just like the biggest thing possible, but little did we know we were going to end up with a million and 2.4 million views later. <laughs> It's a good community, so like when Jack has his skin issues, everybody reaches out, gives suggestions on how to clear up the allergies. I'd say since we got him, more often than not does he have some kind of gnarly looking missing hair section. You can see, look, he's just in here. He, look at these. Poor guy. So he is on Apoquil which is from the vet. We have him on supplements. We've had paw issues where his paws are just red and irritated and missing fur. Um, we've had the missing fur all behind the ears. He's had it where he had it was missing around his eyes. Top um, of his nose. Yeah, top of his nose. It's been something that we've been we've been kind of chasing around since day one, because you know initially there were there were some very obvious hot spots that he had when we first adopted him. We didn't know what it was, if it was mange or if it was some kind of allergy or if he had been in some kind of fight or or something like that. So we had the vet pay close attention. It wasn't mange. Um, he basically he literally told us like get him on some good groceries it'll it'll figure it'll fix itself so we went to puptopia in dallas in october 2023 and we met y'all voyager um i was so excited to meet y'all because we had already switched jack's food twice at this point at least twice at least twice maybe three times and each time we saw we saw an improvement each time we changed him but nothing dramatic, nothing life-changing. You taught us all about the allergies and the chelated copper, and I took from October to December reading about it, and I was like, okay, this is the one that we need to switch to. He had just some skin allergies of some kind, you know, and our, yeah. our local vet had mentioned that that can be diet and it can be, you know, just general allergies. Like, we thought for the longest time that he was allergic to Bermuda grass. Um, but you know, once we once we met you and and we kind of talked about some of the things that you know can be in, in different treats and dog foods and human foods and things like that, it, it kind of opened our eyes to a whole different avenue of, of how to address some of his issues potentially. We're probably like a day sixty, and he looks so much better. He's not red. It's like I, I couldn't have found a better dog food. No, it is. It's it's frustrating when you've you've gone to different wells over and over and over again and you can't seem to make him comfortable. No matter what you do and, and you're bending over backwards with different medicated shampoos or you know, God forbid steroids or other, you know, oh, Apoquil Apoqu and all this other stuff that you just don't want to perpetually have him on. And none of it seems to really check the, all the boxes. You know, it might work for in the short term, but it's not a long-term solution, it so. It works better, we had him on Apoquil. Mm -hmm. this, this dog food's better than the Apoquil. Yeah, absolutely. We got him on the dog food and like 45 days in, you could just drastically tell his fur was growing back, his skin was less red. Uh, and his paws in particular are probably the biggest thing because we've had so many issues with 
you know, cuts on his pads and them just being red and inflamed and, and everything else. And that almost entirely has gone away. I think something that's really cool for both of us to see is the transformation that when we first got him, we didn't even realize how bad a shape he was in. And to see like pictures from when we first brought him home to pictures of him now, it's like, it's night and day and that's just a really cool transition to see. Like it's it's rewarding to have given him that opportunity, you know. Yeah, he's doing so much better. It's it's really been a revelation, you know. Just like such a simple fix for something that you're doing for your dog anyway.